pub. I wish I could take you home. What's going on? What's going on? We are at the Future Collector Car Show. I'm here with Tom. I'm the guest judge. He's the official judge. You can tell well, by the, the outfit. Yeah. And this is Enzo. He, he's actually going to be doing the judging. He's yeah. going to let us know which he's cars. He's a real car wreck. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's hiding dog treats in their car is going to get best in the show for sure. <laughs> so we've got our, our judging criteria here. Our job is to go through and find the modified cars and judge those. So we're responsible for the modified cars as well as Andrew Schulte, who's off in the distance doing something. <laughs> a lot of cool cars here. Great scene. It's, it's early in the morning. It's still a brisk morning here in Phoenix. You can see... Tons of cars everywhere, tons of chaos going on. But uh, we're gonna have a good time, we're gonna get right to it. I can't film everything because I gotta work too, but so we're gonna start at one end and go down and I'll uh, take some video of the coolest cars that we see. Perfection. Yeah, that's wow. how you want. So the only other exterior update I did, other than just keeping it really clean, it does have 40,000, so I do drive it, is these are the competition seats out of an 18. So they have Fielding, right? That's me. Adam. Adam, Adam nice oh, to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Oh, with Indy. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Actually, we're going to see you here soon, right? Yeah, exactly. We're yeah. going to be down there next week, I think. Yeah, I, Yeah, I know. I'm like stressing how quickly I got to get my car ready. <laughs> yeah, is Aaron ready? I saw you like you put a turbo nobody's on ready, it or something. Dude. Nobody's ready. No one's ready. <laughs> no, nobody's ready. Yet, a smash and grab job a little bit. Exactly. Right exactly. On. We're looking forward to coming out to your track, though. Dude, it'll be, be fun. It'll be fun, yeah. Right now, we're judging here. We've got a... This beautiful M4 in the background, so I'm having awesome. a I'm having a work double duty. I'm actually I'm not just getting to enjoy this. Oh, okay, okay. I'm working too, Are you here? So. You're here all day, right? Yeah, I'll be awesome. here all day. I'm gonna come and check out the booth later too. So. Yeah, come check it out. I will. Good deal, man. Awesome. Good to see you. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna give you one of these. Go to oh. one of these. All, all right. right. Yeah, I got you. Right, thanks. Thank you. All right, we got Andrew here. We are now judging. He just nerded out on this BMW for like 20 minutes. It We're never really gonna... speaks to me. It's so. The, the attention to detail, he yeah. even has the hose clamps, the slots for the flathead screwdriver are really? all clocked the same direction. I love that. It's Whether they're tight or not, they're in the same spot. <laughs> it really speaks to my OCD. Yeah, that's great. So, beautiful car. That's one of the better ones we've seen so far. The show is just starting. Uh, we've got our work cut out for him. Look, look at all these forms we got to fill out. But forms. Yeah, so um, we are officially your modified judges for the future collector car show today. And uh, it is, it's, it's, there's a lot going on. Look at all this. There's an insane amount of stuff, and all I want to do is play with Enzo. <laughs> so, all right, let's keep going. Yeah. I'm trying to think about the things that a true car show judge would do. So, like in this case, you know, matching wheels and more importantly, matching tires would be something that you get extra points for. Um, little attention to detail, you know, making sure that if you have modified exhaust, that the tips line up properly. Um, things like the little spoilers and stuff to make sure that they all fit correctly. Um, all the little details, you know, I, things that I, you know, pay attention to on my car most of the time, not always, but most of the time, you know, my car is not a show car, so I can get away with it being kind of, you know, more or less damaged and abused. But a uh, proper show car should look as good and pristine as possible. So a car like this, you know, has a lot of modifications. And then the ones are the parts on it that are not modified. You want to see if they're clean and well maintained. So like little things like the rubber grommets and bushings under the hood, um, the cleanliness of everything, the hose clamps, the you know if everything is clocked and tucked and um, zip tied correctly. Even as little as that, zip ties, right? Did they clip the zip ties properly? Did they use flush cutters to terminate them? And then little things on top like. Is the roof painted, wrapped, polished? Um, does the wrap match if it's wrapped? Does the wrap flow like the weave pattern of carbon wrap? Does it flow from one panel to the other? Little things like that all kind of add up to make this a quality show car. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. My judging criteria is a little loose, so I'm having to take some liberties in that and figure out exactly what I think would be like the ultimate show car. So that's my job today. I'm here looking at this NSX and I'll be honest, I usually don't like this style of wrap, um, but this one is so tastefully done and so much attention to detail that I really, really like it. And I'm chatting with the owner here, Jay. He actually has gone through and studied all kinds of different aircraft of this era to kind of recreate this in a very specific manner for the car. So there's a lot of little details that are really interesting. He was telling me here, he put the pull handle res rescue arrow right there next to the door handle obviously instead of just in some random spot there's all kinds of other 
small details throughout. He actually had, at one point, a dash in here that was modeled after a fighter jet. You can see it. Really, really cool build. This is very unique. It's very exciting and, and visually appealing. It, it is very well thought out and planned, which I appreciate big time, you know, because anyone can just slap a shark mouth on the front of their car or whatever it is and just make it OD green and there you go, you think you have a fighter jet. But this one really looks down to the literally millimeter. You can see all the little bolt heads. You can actually see, I don't know if the camera will see it, but there's this stroking kind of effect that's printed in that emulates the kind of dirt as you know the airplane goes through the sky and it pulls the you know the air is going to pull the, the dirt through like that so you can see here he's shown pictures of him going and studying the aircraft and everything and yeah, i really appreciate this this is this is very cool oh hi how's it going two pups in one shot this is the best what's his name Zorro. hello Zorro. We're rocking and rolling at the show here. Andrew and I have got our work cut out for us. Work, work, work all day. Yeah, there are some really nice cars here that are making this job extra difficult. But, uh, oh, there's my alarm. We're going to have to meet up soon, so we got to finish this up. <laughs> um, 11.30. Yeah, 11.30. We've got to meet at 11.45, so. I want to talk to you. All right, cool. So we got this beautiful FDR X7 here that is quite modified under the hood, at least with a lot of polishing going on. And, uh... Yeah, so we're having a good time judging all these cars. I, I could get used to this, I think. It's just making me want to drive them all, though, so <laughs> that's, that's kind of a part of the problem. For sure. And they're like, no, this is a show car. I'm like, but I want to drive it. <laughs> I want to see what it's like. Man, this look, is really well thought yeah, out. Look at this thing. Yeah. Beautiful car. Very nice. Yeah, it is. All right, no Enzo. You can't go bye-bye in the car. Oh, okay. This is awesome. This is like childhood dream car yeah. for sure. So the car, who signed the dash? So the, the, the dash is signed by. Uh, yeah, let me show that. Uh, Toby uh, Kobaikawa, and he was the lead designer yep. um, for RX7 for the FDR X7 wow. in Japan. That's special. That's really and, special. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's got an aftermarket cluster from Japan. Mm -hmm. Our Mia aftermarket Stay. cluster. It's beautiful. Pretty much everything, the seats, God, everything in sick. the car, um, is aftermarket. Oh, I hope the background audio isn't gonna completely ruin this bit, but this has been an awesome experience so far, and I finished judging finally. We've got our top three, and now I'm gonna go hit the stage with Lorette Nickel and some of the other drivers and get to just kind of chat about my experience with the show and, and hyperdrive and all kinds of stuff. And uh, well, right now what's important is all the pups. So there's a whole section of rescue pups. What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? Good. What's your name? Jaden. Jaden, nice to meet you. I'm gonna go check out these pups. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out these dogs. Ran into a couple fans, but uh, they're offering them all for rescue. It's a great place to show off what we've got. Look at all these cuties. Look at this little guy. Hello. Hello. You tell him. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. It's okay. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, I know. So, all these dogs definitely have a soft spot in my heart. You know, you know, we run the rally rescue at the rally ranch in Austin, and I'm involved in that as much as I can be, but um, there's rescues everywhere. So, no matter where you are in the country or in the world, I really want to recommend that you don't buy a dog you adopt a dog. There's so many dogs that need a forever home and this is just my PSA to everyone that you should definitely do your part and stop buying dogs. Go save one. They will love you forever way more than buying a dog. All right, back to the show. Grace Talents. We're honored to have Fielding Shredder who's part of the New series in Netflix Top 3 is Hyper Drive. In fact, Fielding, welcome. You're like the first you. contestant, man. Yeah, that, that was an insane experience. I mean, I, I can't even talk about how nuts that was. All right, Andrew and I are finishing our judging duties here. However, I see this challenge that looks intriguing. Uh, we're both used yep. to changing tires 
constantly, but never in a manner that is really quick. So we're gonna challenge each other here and try and change them on this NASCAR. Can we send it? Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna put my camera down this time. You guys gonna race each other? Yeah, we're gonna race each other. All right, count you guys down. Three, guns up, guns up, guns up. Three, two, one, go. Woo! 420? Yeah, that's good. Woo! I just blazed it through that one. <laughs> You're fourth place, man. Three. All right, guns up, guns up. Guns up. Three, two, one, go. Good stuff. Nice. 3.46. I'm currently the record holder. 3.46. Sorry, Man. bro. No, you I deserve you. it. I got you. You deserve it. That, is cool. <laughs> that was too much fun. Oh, man. Uh, so, this was my old time 3.8. Oh. <laughs> so, now this we're 3.46. Yeah. All right, let's do it. There's also a fashion show going on, which is kind of different for a car show, but it's pretty cool entertainment for everybody, you know? So we're hanging out. We got Andy, the actual pro judge, helping us pick the top three. Uh, we've got a really tight competition here, a lot of amazing cars. And so we're taking one last look before we pick the best in show and the top three sure winners. We pick the right yeah, ones. we want to make absolutely sure. We, we are taking this as serious as possible, even though we're idiot drifters. We, Gilly and I are, are absolute newbies with yeah. show judging, so we want to make sure we get it right with this guy. Right, exactly. There's no guarantees. Um, and both he and I, I think, are just like, which of these cars did I play the most in Gran Turismo? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we need to we need to make sure we're paying attention to all the finer details. So that's where Andy's going to help pick, I'm pick doing up. I'm the best I can. Yeah. All right. So this is one of the next contenders. This unbelievably loud Godzilla. GTR. Andrew scored it really high. I'm gonna make sure that he did his job and uh, see if I think the same about it. <laughs> I, I personally wouldn't modify my own GTR in the same way, right. but I can absolutely appreciate uh, the person who's, this is their flavor. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is definitely loud and proud. <laughs> very, very good job done. Well, well done, well done job. Wow, I'm tired. So we're announcing all the winners now and best in show was that 93 RX-7 that we saw. Beautiful car and the winners are up here now. All right, dude. Oh, what, what was your time on the NASCAR? I never got over there. Oh, no, no, never got over there. We gotta go there right now. <laughs> what does he think of beat my time? Yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll do uh, a real time one when we get back home. Yeah, yeah. On, on the Mustang? Yeah, something. I got a lot of cars to your practice, tires right? Now. Like something's got wild tires. So right? yeah. All right, perfect. Well, in that case, I'm the winner. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> This concludes the show. This was one hell of a time at the Future Classic Car Show. I want to thank, <laughs> thank ClassicCars.com for having me out and all of the friends and fans and people that brought their cars out. It's been a really amazing event and just a nice break from reality of being at home working on my car. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and make sure that if you do, you subscribe to the channel, keep up with all the updates. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up this year and I hope to share it all with you. <laughs>